knows what happened to the computer? Oh, it's gone, and there's stuff all over the place. Ah. Hey guys, got the guy right here from Kona Hot Corner, or Nods of Drag Neil from the Fairy Tale Podcast, whichever one you're watching. Um, just doing a quick little vloggity update. Yeah, I stole the term vloggity from Philip DeFranco. He'll probably sue me later, but if he doesn't, thank you. All right, anyway, uh, no, my computer's not gone. I just kind of moved it. Here it is. Uh, it's now in my closet, or now my sound room slash studio, and I got a bunch of stuff over there, so move some stuff around to make it a little more homey. But yeah, for the most part, it's in my closet. <laughs> the, uh, the acoustic setup's a lot better over here, so that's why I ended up moving it. Now, I wanted to go over uh, some actual important news real quick and stop shaking the camera while I'm doing it. That's awesome. Much better now. I uh, really quickly wanted to talk about the fact that, well, uh, many of you probably heard, Bandai is shutting its doors and closing down shop. Well, that's because of stuff like piracy that's been going on like crazy. And like we say on Konoha Corner, be a ninja, not an internet pirate. Or on the Fairytale Podcast, majors are so much cooler than internet pirates. And it's the truth. I mean, piracy is the big deal. Yeah, um, the good news coming out of there is that, you know, it looks like they're going to be trying to set off the licensing rights for shows to other companies. But Bandai was responsible for a lot of really good stuff to include Cowboy Bebop. So to all of you people who are responsible for Bandai going other, fuck you so very much. I really appreciate it. Alrighty. Uh, we're explicit, so that shouldn't be any word that you haven't heard from us before but uh really quickly I, I know the trolls are gonna come after me after saying this this is not just my anime collection you saw earlier and uh this is my manga setup right there and basically uh there's gonna be one of two things that most people are gonna say about that they're either gonna be like oh my god i wish i had your collection or they're gonna be like meh not really all that much let me explain to the second type of people real quick i used to own all the single discs for dragon ball z Yu Yu Hakusho, and Unayasha. And for those of you that don't know, that is a fuck ton of DVDs! That is a crap load of DVDs! And, uh, yeah, I used to own them because, well, I had to pay bills when the economy went, well, <laughs> under. When the economy became what it so lovingly is right now. Uh, P.S. Congress, get off your ass and fix it instead of trying to worry about SOPA. Um, even though I think that piracy is horrible and i do agree that there should be an act on piracy what you currently have right now is not going to stop internet piracy in fact it's only going to make the internet worse so you need to come up with a better game plan and then resubmit it that's my issue on sopa and i've wasted a lot of people's times and probably garnered some hate from people who are like all for sopa so they'll come after me i'm sure eventually um but i mean Dude, seriously, Jenny on went under, ADV went under, and now Bandai. This is ridiculous. And uh, for those of you who are sitting there talking about, oh, anime is so expensive. Let me show you something real quick. This is Ronma one half. That's Ronma one half. That's Ronma one half. Let me explain something really quick. This little set right here, this beautiful gem that I have. That is exactly what I bought. Oh shit, what was it? Uh, it's 2011, so I bought that around 2002. No, it's 2012 now. Holy shit, I'm not going to get used to that. So, 10 years ago when I bought this, the price at Suncoast for that five disc, one season box set was $149.99 before taxes. So after taxes, it rounded up to something like 165, 170, something like that. So for all of you that are running around bitching about how expensive everything is nowadays, you have no idea. You have no idea. And it's even worse in places like uh, Canada and uh, the UK and uh, fucking Australia where price gouging is insane. And I live in the U.S., so I can only speak to the U.S. market, but for you guys, I'm sorry that you guys are getting the shit couched out of you with anime prices. I'm really, really sorry about that. I wish there was something I could do. 
unfortunately there's not at this particular point in time um, but yeah this this is really really crappy news and um, yeah I wanted to voice my opinion on it uh, tell me what you think do you think that piracy is the issue do you think anime prices are the issue you've heard my opinions let me hear yours post them in the comments below and as always don't forget to like and favorite also wanted to give you guys a quick update I'm working on 132 of Konoha Corner, which was the last official recorded episode of 2011. Also, uh, we haven't really talked about it yet, but we did record episode 3 of Pervy Place. And that'll be going up on iTunes and YouTube as well. But don't forget to go over and check out the feed on Fairy Tale. We finally heard back from Tia Ballard, and she gave us the go-ahead. And we posted the interview with her on the Fairy Tale podcast, so we have our little happy interview. And also, we posted up the last episode of 2012 with episode 28 of the Fairy Tale Podcast. So, that's the news there. Uh, no recordings this week because Jump has announced they're not going to be doing anything this week, so no Naruto on the horizon. Uh, Fairy Tale, if it does get released this week, it will probably come out on Saturday which means we won't be doing a recording until Monday anyway. So no recordings this week. You have nothing to be recorded this week. So uh, for those of you that were looking forward to something or hoping we'd have something, sorry we don't. Uh, we're actually, I was at one point in time thinking about doing a New Year's looking back on 20, the year of 2011, but we kind of covered that a little bit with episode 132 and Pervy Place, actually. That was kind of surprising. But uh, for the most part, yeah, we did what we were going to do with that. And right now we're actually working on the High School of the Dead abridged series. We're starting the script writing and getting the ideas going back and forth. We're not doing any auditions or anything until next month. February is when we start auditioning. January is going to be all about getting the script ready. We're going to send it, well, hoping to. Uh, we emailed, well, I emailed the team four star guys asking if they would like if they wouldn't mind reading it over when we had one ready for them and giving us some advice and critiques now we're not going to cater specifically to team four star we're not i mean we're us uh we're not here to brown nose anybody we're gonna say what we think if you don't like it well oops uh but i mean we're we do understand that they have more experience in this field and we are going to ask their advice on certain things but again it's going to be relatable to us, and we're not going to try and make it a Team Four Star Productions. We're us, they're them. Simple as that. All right, so, yeah, that's the uh, news from the front over here. Uh, we should resume Konoha Corner and Fairy Tale activities within the next week or so. Uh, again, if you're not getting enough Konoha Corner, you can come visit us at Ichiban Con in wonderful Charlotte, North Carolina. That's where I'm going to be, and our very own lovely Eno is going to be for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and uh, we've got, if you check our Facebook, you can find the uh, schedule where we're at. Uh, we've got a Sunday panel, I believe, or Saturday panel, I believe. Yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll look at it again when I'm online, but make sure to check the Facebook. And as always, make sure to stop by the Fairy Tale Podcast and uh, check that that Facebook page out. Remember, that's Facebook.com slash Konoha Corner Podcast and Facebook.com slash Fairytale Podcast. All right. See you guys later, and I hope you enjoy the stuff because it'll be up before I head out. So, peace.